Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to do a quick burner workout for the legs. Nice and controlled, nice and powerful with those legs. And we're gonna use a yoga block. So I love incorporating a block into bar. So let's do a quick warm up and then we'll get right into it. You do need a bar or a chair or a countertop would work as well. As long as you know it's nice and sturdy and it's not going to go anywhere on you, that will work great. I am standing on my mat today, but you don't necessarily have to. However, we are gonna come down to the mat for the last three or four minutes of the workout. So let's do a quick warm up. We're gonna have our feet facing forward and big arms up and around and take them down and up. Good, now let's add in some knee bends to this stretch. So we take the arms in and we take it down, up, back down, up. Nice swinging of the arms, just getting the blood flowing. Having a seat back like you were going to sit down on a chair, but then changed your mind. Four more, and three, two, and one. Good, leave your arms right up top. I wanna lift the legs forward, alternating the legs, Getting some kicks in there, a little stretch and a little blood flow as well. Great job. Now let's add in a knee bend and pull the arms towards the knees. In three, two, one. Here we go. Down, down. Just pull down with the arms like you were pulling down a rope, something above you. Get a little bit of activity in the arms. Four more, three, two, and one. Lower down. Bring your feet a little bit wider, but leave your toes forward. And we're gonna come down into a side lunge. Same side each time, here we go. Seven more, six, five. Two more, and one. Other side, down for eight. Really stepping into that heel, sending the glutes out behind you. Three, two, and one. Take it up. Good. I feel already nice and warm. I hope you do too. If not, please pause and do a little bit more activity. But we're going to get started with our block. So first exercise. I want you to put your foot on your block. Now I'm gonna put on the inside so you can see my outer leg a little bit more. With the block, you wanna take a step right on. The toes are hanging over the front. Your heel is on the back. So there's no hanging off with the back. We don't want it to flip up on you. Bring the other leg in. It's a little bit staggered. So it looks like this from the front. And we're gonna press into that block starting with just a heel lift and I want you to use your bar or your chair. So we lift and the heel goes up. Just warming up the calves. Really press into that block. And you have a little bounce as you come down so that you don't lock out your knee. It's kind of fun, I love working with the block. It's so fun. All right, however, we are gonna get a little bit more intense in our leg work. Three, two, and one. Hold that leg up. I want you to bring it forward, point the toe. So if you have a counter in front of you, you only need to bring it as far as it will go, don't worry. We're gonna swing the leg back and then pull it back in. So I'm gonna face forward. We wanna keep our back braced. Shoulders nice and tall, but not clenched and we're lifted on that other heel the whole time. We're gonna take this bit leg back into a lunge. In three, two, here we go. Step all the way back. Now lift up, so take it very slow. We take it back, lunge, up, bring the leg forward, back, lunge. Now you can stay at this pace, keeping it at your pace or we're gonna do a little pickup in the speed just to get that cardio burst. 
Here we go. We're down, lift, down, lift. So that leg forward turns into a little bit of a kick. Four, three, two. Hold that leg back right here. Now just pulse down. Light touch on your bar. No body weight. I tell you, I did not work out this whole weekend. On Saturday I did not. Sunday I did. I can feel it. So stay regular and consistent in your activity. Three, two, and one. Step right up. Good, let's switch the block to the other side. And I will switch a little bit diagonal view. All right, get that foot placed right in the center, nice and safe. Press up, I want you to just lift the heel up. So this next segment's gonna go by quick because we are going to get right into a little bit of work on the floor. Press. All right, let's keep that heel up. Leg goes forward, take it back. So I wanna keep my hips directly in line with each other. I don't want to be coming outward at all. We're not doing that today. Lift, lift. And I could even be a little bit further away. Yes, good. So take adjustments as you need to whenever you're exercising. You want it to feel right. And you want the work to be effective. There's nothing wrong with stopping doing a little adjusting. Hold that leg back. You can see my toes are reaching for directly behind me. One more, hold. Now step down into your lunge, back up with the leg, down into the lunge and up. All right, so I start a little bit fast. Slow it down, lift. Slow it down, lift. Now you can add in that intensity if you want or you stay with that slower pace. I tend to always go too fast, too quick. Little burst. You're at six left, you can do it. Four, three, two, last one. Hold it down, get your footing on your block. Press down for your pulses. Get into that light, nice lunge positioning. Four, three, two, and one. Press up. Whew, that's very quick and intense. All right, push your bar your, wherever you're working aside. And we're gonna come down to the floor. So you're gonna have a seat. And we're gonna actually sit up on the block. So you want it the horizontal way. Have a seat. You wanna make sure you're really sitting good right in that center. Place your hands behind you facing in towards the butt. Now, if you don't like how this feels on your wrists, we're not gonna be coming down too low. We're gonna be staying right about here. So see how it feels. Otherwise, place your hands to the outsides. I want you to lift slightly off the block. It's gonna be there as a saving grace for us. Lift the other leg. All right, now I want you to tap down, lift. It's tiny, tiny. We're just keeping that leg still for this one. Good, now hold it up in three, two, hold. Tap that leg down, up, down, up. How are we doing? How's those wrists? If you need to adjust, adjust. Hold the leg up right here. Extend long, pull it up, long, up. So what's starting to feel it here? That Keep going. That standing leg is feeling it. It's getting that booty work. Keep it lifted. I'm gonna catch up with you. I want you to stop on this next one. Three. 
two, or keep going with me. And take it down. Lower the foot. Very, very anal with black socks. All right, other side. We ready? Lift up. Do a little tap down first. Get used to where that block is. Down, down. So you get a little tiny bit of arm work today. Three, two, one. Hold. Bring that knee up. Tap it down. Tap, tap. So really ground into the floor with that standing leg. Push the hips up a little bit further. Look straight ahead out in front of you. You're gonna do that leg extension. Next one, hold the leg, out, in, out, in. Nice long leg. Push into the floor with that standing leg. Yes, you've got it. Three, two, one, bring it in. Lower down. All right, shake out those wrists. I know they're feeling it. Shake it out. Take your block. You're gonna get to rest your arm now. I want you to put the block right under here, but then stand it up, okay? So it's there to help us to stay lifted in our work. So mine, not directly in my armpit, but right on the side and your forearm comes down right above it. If you're uncomfortable, if it just does not work because it could be your body shape, maybe your arm's a little shorter, get rid of it. It's not necessary. I just want it as a little guide for us in this case. Finishing with some glute work. Lift, lower, lift. And you gotta make sure it really is tucked in there good. There we go. Lift, lift. So heel and knee is coming up. We're staying stacked in the hips. Good. Last exercise we're gonna do, then we're gonna switch sides. Three, two, hold the leg up, extend long. Now lift lower. My block, see how my body wants to come down. So it's pushing the block away. That's why it's there, because we wanna hold above it so it doesn't keep falling down. Three, two, hold. Now tap that foot forward, up, forward, up. Without compromising the hips, don't let them move on you. Three, two, and one. Good, pull the legs in. I'm gonna switch and try the other side, see how you do. So we wanna stack the hips, stack the legs, place that block right underneath. You might find one side works better than the other. And again, you want your lift to not push that block down. Ready, here we go. Up, up. This top hand is just kind of resting. Good. Hold that leg up right here. Extend, lower lift. How's your block doing on this side? So I'm a little better on the side. You may have been better on the first side. Whatever it is, keep working with it. Keep adjusting. Four, three, two, and one. Hold the leg up. Adjust, bring that foot forward and up. Just a little tap. We start to bring that leg forward, then we bring it right back, stacked on top of the other one. Four more. Three, two, and one. Whew. Pull it in, take that block out. We're gonna use it for a quick stretch. So keep it right on your mat. Take the block right in front, and I want you to place your hands on it. Bring your feet out behind you best help that you can get to do a down dog or an up stretch. So we're gonna lift, pressing the knees upward, press those heels all the way to the floor. Use that block to help you. Now bring the right knee in, place it right near the block, 
Stretch that back leg all the way back. Keep the toes in the floor. Then release. And then if it feels comfortable, you're gonna stay right on this knee and then press forward. If your knee does not like this direct bend, just skip this stretch. You can always have your leg straight or kept in that lunge position. Press back up. Lift that back heel, or back toes I should say. Lift up, back to another down dog stretch. So grab your block again and come all the way up. Good, bring that left heel or knee all the way up and then stretch back over the toes. Three, two, and one, and then come all the way down, release the toes. Breathe in, breathe out. Should feel like a nice quad stretch. Three, two, and roll over right to the side. Bring your heels together, grab your block, and then you're gonna press forward, put it the tall way, and that way you can get a long stretch for the shoulders. And release it up, and come to standing. One more deep breath up and release it out. Great work. If you have questions, please let me know. Be very safe when working with that block. And from here, you can go on to another workout if you want a little bit more time doing some exercise today. So subscribe if you like this workout and let me know some comments below and how it's working for you. Thank you.